Now Dalton of course was able to explain many things through his atomic theory. Yet there were certain things which were not clear. First of all, what is it that makes one atom different from the other? Or you can also say why various atoms are different from each other. Secondly, another poor difficulty was that is atom really indivisible? Which means are there no further particles in it? Now by 19th century lot of work was done on this and we came to know many more things about atom. Now one of the reasons why we learnt about atom was through how the electricity is produced and how is it transmitted or what are the charged particles. Now if we do simple things like you comb your hair the day you have shampooed your hair and they are absolutely dry you find a kind of charge comes in your comb. You can even take that comb near small bits of paper and they will get attracted. So whenever two things are rubbed some kind of charge is produced. Now taking on from this we will try to understand what is the structure of atom. Various scientists have tried to explain it a different fashion. Now the one scientist Thompson he said that probably atom is like a pudding, a positively charged pudding sphere, positive sphere on which there are negative particles. Just like a normal pudding where there are fruits or nuts on top. This is how he tried to explain. And then came another scientist Rutherford. 